Okay, now I'm separating the stuff. I guess the sulfur dioxide will get a tank or two. The carbon monoxide can be connected to up there, I think. That's carbon monoxide, yes. So maybe I have to do it like this. Okay. I guess these factories now don't have to produce anything more. I might solve this a bit differently. Okay, these factories should only work if carbon monoxide in the rest of the system is lower than a certain amount. For that I need a tank. And a pump. So if this is uh, less than 5,000 maybe, then this should pump. And I guess I will add a pump here, just to add some pressure. I guess there are other places where I'm producing carbon monoxide, but that's probably the biggest and fastest. Okay, um, now I need to get the air away. I guess air is needed up there. How do I get there? Air there? I might just build a tunnel through here. So now that the air can disappear into these pipes, these factories turned on again, but they will turn off shortly because only some pipes are not good enough. They need other places to go through. If the air can actually be used, that's more useful. Okay, just a few more meters, and now I can reduce the amount of air that needs to be sucked from the air, literally, 
or from the surrounding I guess then these mess, uh, machines can stop working and I will just add a pump there maybe to add a bit of pressure I guess I can't really do anything much with the nitrogen yet. That's why it's vented most of the time. Also, I want to look at what to do with the sulfur dioxide. So, sulfuric acid. I need water and oxygen. Good to know. I should have that down there. I could uh, build those factories already. And then I have sulfuric acid ready for whenever I need it. For now, just two of those factories. Oxygen comes in from the side. Good to know. Three ingredients, one output. I will place a tank there. Okay, water is that. Then oxygen, this comes out of this process already. And then the sulfur dioxide. And then power. So there's not enough water coming through probably. So this will take a while. Guess I will need to do more water. Maybe I will have to produce even more steam somehow. I might even try to have several modular of those solar collector farms and then and then Somehow, maybe via trains, transport in the steam. Weird that you can transport steam in trains. Okay, there's a heat pipe missing. That's why this is not working, I guess. Not producing anything. I will add another pump there, just to increase the pressure. I will add three more pumps there. I wonder if the pump needs to actually be completely attached to the tank to 
overcome the inside pressure there. I guess so. So I will have to change the design slightly. So maybe now more steam is actually arriving. I will add pumps there as well. Um, but I guess one of them needs to be an output pump. Because these uh, backup turbines also want to have steam sometimes in case they are needed for backup energy. I might also just have this pump somewhere else. so that the way between getting in and getting out is further away, further apart from each other. So I guess I could add more pumps somewhere. Okay, that works. Almost out of pumps. Maybe all these pumps help a bit. Maybe not. We will see. So there's still a lot of sulfur dioxide there. Some sulfuric acid has been produced. I should probably bring this up to wherever I will be producing science on the bus. And I need to produce barrels to produce ammonia barrels. I guess I could just deliver the sulfuric acid down below the bus. Okay, that won't work. Let's just remove one more and get further down for a moment. I guess this should work since I'm only using tunnels there. These fluids can't collide.
Okay, further up now. Maybe it will just stop there for now. And then to the right. In between this uh, hydrochloric acid. Oh, and some of these aren't even working yet. They were waiting for underground pipes. Okay, that should be far enough. I guess I want more pumps. And I think I can't place the mortar on the floor, so that's okay. Guess I will need concrete then, but I don't have concrete. It's lacking cement. Why is it lacking cement? It's lacking lime. Why is it lacking lime? Where would lime be coming from? Um, let's just see again, probably on the same line as silica, yes, down there, there is no more lime, and these don't get limestone. Ah, the stone is full. That's why lime is not treated anymore. I guess uh, raw lime or whatever it's called should still be coming in. I guess I will have to go there now and fix something so that the stone is dealt with. Theoretically I could crush the stone to gravel if there's too much of it. Maybe just here I will take stone away bring it near the gravel and then crush it. Can I do this? Yes. Okay, that should work. The gravel will then be turned to mineral dust and sand again. I guess I will just take this stone and place it somewhere else. And maybe at some point this stone can move and then These chests can empty by themselves, except this one. I guess I should just do it like this. 
then the stone can escape and I can throw this in these crushes as well as adding a chest for the rest of the stone that I have collected and maybe at some point it will be crushed and I have to check whether it's crushed down here it is and then if the mineral dust in these chests surpasses a certain amount it will be sent to be turned into sludge and the sludge then also will be diluted into wastewater later and dumped into the lakes Okay, um, some of the crushed iron ore is actually moving again, that's nice. Probably just means that iron ingots are being used and have to be smelted down here. Okay, some lime is being produced, but there could still be more. I, could, I guess I need more of those crushers doing this job. Maybe I need a limestone factory somewhere. This might be a good spot to deal with limestone. Four crushers for now. Okay, I just have to get this limestone down somehow. Maybe I will get it from here. The rest can still go to the previous location. Okay, this will be difficult. I'll just deal with the plastic in some way. I think I can go through here. And then I might run into a problem. The good thing is that I have red underground belts. They can make longer tunnels. Okay, I've gone through. And now the limestone is being crushed and I still need to get rid of the stone soon. I guess I will put it to the right for now.
into chests. And the crushed limestone has to go to these furnaces for now. Maybe I will add more furnaces somewhere else later. I will balance this belt. And then combine it here. And then more of this can be burnt. And then I will have more line hopefully. I don't know if I have any better medium furnaces. Not right now. So I guess I will have to add more of those furnaces somewhere. Maybe just right here so the limestone gets thrown in there and then I have to deal with the products somehow the carbon dioxide can move to one side. I think that's there, carbon dioxide. So I can just transport the carbon dioxide away. Okay, that's gone. Can already destroy a few miners. And then I need to deal with these lime outputs. Now they are on both sides of the belt. And where does the lime go? I think up there. I need to find a way through there. Maybe that's the one. Okay, now I have more of this limestone stuff. What was it actually used for? I guess I can do some more research now. Don't know if I want to go the architecture way to use uh, 
maybe recursive buildings. We can't do so uh, sodium processing right now. We still need green science set up. Need to figure out, okay, I can use salt and fresh water to create seawater. And seawater is something I have been using at the beginning to create saline water and wastewater. Also, I can create sodium and chlorine from salt. And I can deal with sodium hydroxide to create oxygen and water and sodium. Don't yet know what to do with sodium when I have it. Might be another one of those trashy products. I guess I could do architecture, but also mining productivity. If I have nothing else set up yet. Okay, I wanted to see where I needed the limestone that I just fixed. Don't really know anymore where it's going. Okay, up here with this uh, silica. I guess the cement. I wondered where the concrete has gone. And now the concrete is being produced again, since cement is being produced again. 